This is how a pro-government TV network reported the incident in northern Syria, which took place last Wednesday. In Idlib, our armed forces ambushed a terrorist group near a canned food factory on Idlib Harim Road, killing three members of the group. It's not been officially confirmed, but reports indicate that one of the three foreigners killed was Ali al Manasfi, a British citizen of Syrian origin who lived in this tower block in West London. The American woman who died has been named as Nicole Mansfield. Including a woman that carried an American passport, indicating that she was born in 1980. From since the start of the fighting, foreigners have been drawn into Syria's conflict. And analysts say some of them are driven by frustration with the inaction of their own government. People are flocking there, and they're flocking there for a very simple reason, and that is that they believe that the West hasn't taken action, so they're doing the job that they, sh they believe the West should have done. Meanwhile, President Assad seems to be growing in confidence. In an interview, he has said that the balance of power has tipped in his favour. One reason for his confidence, the promise that Russia will honour its commitment to send him anti-aircraft systems like these. Russia and America are trying to organise a peace conference, but for now the war continues, even claiming lives of those born far beyond Syria's borders.